lesson 105, and this is fifth grade, and this is on symmetry, <clears throat> okay? Symmetry is actually rather easy. Um, when you're talking about a line of symmetry, it would almost be like a butterfly. For example, there's the butterfly's head, okay? <laughs> and over here I have this, and over here I have this. If I drew or put a mirror right here, it would reflect the same exact image, okay? okay? That's called symmetry. You can write that word down. Symmetry. Symmetry. Got okay. it? So it just makes a perfect reflection, okay? That looks like that, okay? Now, let's try this. Okay, I have a triangle. Where can I draw a line that will reflect it perfectly? Down the middle. Right down the middle. So if I were to put a line right here, okay, does that show a perfect reflective mirror to that? Yes. Yes, okay. Is there anywhere else I could place it and we could get a perfect reflection? On that? Uh-huh. Watch this. Does that? Oh. Whoops. And you could do it on the other side, too. Mm -hmm. So this one has one, two, three lines of symmetry. Okay. Okay? So we had three different patterns that we could have done with that to make that it, to make it have a reflective symmetry. All right, let's try another picture. It's a pentagon. Now I'm going to have to draw this pretty good, which is really hard. Okay, here, do you see a place I could draw a line to make it reflect perfectly? Straight down the Straight middle. Down the middle. Okay, um, anywhere else? Like, kind of diagonally, but not at the corner, but almost. Okay, this one's actually going to have several. So I'm going to draw them. Let me make sure I get this right. That's the one I was talking about. Boom. Even though I didn't do a very good job of making it. Okay, it's kind of hard when I don't draw perfect. Okay, then another one would have gone here. Another one here. Another one here. I think that's all of them. So it has one, two, three, four lines of symmetry. One, two, Five. Time out. Let me write those out. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh. Well, some yeah, of those. Some, are, know, the some same. are the others. Yeah. Some have the top, the front, and the back. So let's see. How can I show? Let's do them red. How about that? Or black. Or black marker. Two. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. I believe it's six, but I'm not positive. I think I put it in the wrong spot. One, two, one. Five or six. Five. One, two, Three, four, five. Yeah. Five. That was easier when I did colors. Because mm -hmm. it started getting kind of confusing. There we go. Five of them. Good job. So a pentagon has five lines of symmetry. All right. Let's try another one. This is a regular quadrilateral. Do you remember me talking about regular and what that means? Have I told you that yet? No. Regular, if I say it's a regular whatever shape, it means that all the sides are equal. Oh. Okay, so this is a quadrilateral, meaning four sides, and it's a regular quadrilateral. One, two, three, four. Four. Very good. One, two, three, four. Very good. Okay, another one, last one, regular hexagon. Do you remember what hexagon is? It's six, right? Six, very good. That's an octagon. 
Six. Okay, so how many does this one have? What do you think? Um, let's see. One. one. I think you do one at every corner. Two. Three. One. Three. Could I go four. here? Four. Yeah. Four. Five? You could do five. I think you could. You could almost do like infinite. No. Let's see if that they get any more. One, two, three, four. I think you can do six. That I see. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go through here. Like this. That yeah. one makes one, doesn't it? And then the other side. Yep. There we go. Six. Mm -hmm. Good job. That was a little hard, wasn't it? You could almost do infinite. It's just like well, then it starts kind of tilting a different way. Yeah. So, good job. Okay, so you understand what line of symmetry is? Yes. Okay, now I'm going to talk about something called rotational symmetry. So, oh. if I take this, okay, and I'm going to label it A, B, and C. And if I rotate the, this, say, pretend like I had a, an actual figure, and I took it and rotated it. And it was still symmetry. And it still it, has the same symmetry. It's rotational And it's symmetry. rotational symmetry. So if I turn this, and this was on the bottom, A, like that, C, and then B, whoops, B would be up here. No, it would be right here. And C would be here. Okay? So it still has a line of symmetry that's able to do it. Wait, which way it, it turned left? It turned this way, so A, B, and went on the bottom. See that? It still work. A, B. Huh? That's rotational symmetry? Yep. It still, it still is symmetrical. Um, it's still the same shape, and you're still yeah. able to do it. Okay? Let's take the word math, and there's only one letter that when I rotate it, you can actually draw a line just like it. Okay, now I can rotate it more than once. Okay, if I turn this in, is it going to have the same line of symmetry? No. no. If I turn it this way, it's yeah. not It's not going to be an M, though. Yeah. Okay, and then it would go this way, right? You see that? Mm -hmm. All right, let's do A. Again, that one works, but it's not an A. So no, let's do T. Again, that one works, but it's not. Okay, so as you can see, when I turn the H, two turns, it turns right back into the H. And so these two are symmetrical, even on the rotation, rotation symmetry.